Today we are finally rebuilding Blackburn. It's a team that I think people have been asking for us to do for so long. Since yeah. we started doing the rebuilds, actually. With a real team, isn't they? Yeah. With quite a lot of kind of recent history, to be honest. Of course, they were former Premier League winners. Yeah, which is the last thing they won as well, actually. Exactly. Yeah, so that's good. 1995. I mean, the two previous times was in 1912 and 914. Do you remember those, those wins? Or... Vaguely. Yeah, yeah, I thought you would. Yeah. You've got quite a good memory. The FA Cup ones I remember. Yeah, what are they in the 1800s? <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> definitely remembers them. <laughs> they won five times in seven years, if you look at that. That's quite good, yeah. actually, isn't it? Yeah. Jesus, yeah, so that when is they, good. When they first sort of kicked off, they, they had a really good side in the, in the, in the, going back in the days, that thing. Yeah. I mean, they are one of the oldest teams. 1875 is one of the oldest clubs that you can find in the country yeah and i think they've got quite although obviously we we're not seeing that many trophies they got quite a very good uh history in regards to the, the club being quite historic but also like in the 90s they had a rich owner didn't they yeah they did yeah and they were one of the first clubs along with newcastle to have that kind of uh, in the 90s version of the money being brought mm. into the Premier League. Yeah, with, very with, rare then, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, obviously, now we're used to quite a few of the clubs. It was mainly being more, really it was rich. more like um, local businessmen as well yeah. taking over. Yeah, they? the rich people yeah. from them. They, they yeah, kind they of bought Newcastle. They loved the team, so they buy their, buy their team. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. And they had some success, obviously, with that yeah. 1995 yeah. Uh, Premier League. And now they are not in the Premier League, of course. They're in the Skybet Championship, where they have been for quite a while as well. Yeah. So, I mean, we can see here they were relegated from the Premier League in 11 12. Uh, they even got relegated from the Championship in 16 17, but they did bounce back up straight away yeah. uh, in second place in League One, and they've been mm, mid table in the Championship ever since. Mm. So, we've got a bit of our work cut out for us. They're one of the teams in, in the rebuild. Championship, you know, they, they start off. You know, they, they, they sort of over up in the top sort of four or five and then the next minute they just drop out again and they yeah. just, just miss it on it, don't they? Because they it's are shame, one of the really. biggest clubs in there, yeah. of course. Oh, yeah. I mean, our key player, we can see him. Strange character because Ben Brereton Diaz is a Chilean international, but he's English as well. Obviously, yeah. he just had, uh, I think it's a Chilean parent. One of his parents are, are from Chile. However, before you even start the game, he has already decided that he is leaving at the end of his contract next summer. We couldn't even persuade him. Yeah. It's immediately. This isn't going to be an easy job for us, is it? Not at all, because he is like a good player. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's one of those. And he's like worth seven to ten million pound. I did try and offload him for that amount of money, thinking, all right, I'll sacrifice that. But because ten million pound in the championship is quite a lot of money. Yeah. It didn't work out. Nobody really came in for anything other than about two million pound. I'm not going to sell him for two million pound. I'd rather him just go for free next summer. Can you see his wages? Look, 7,500. 7, Peanuts. Blackburn are one of the first teams to actually pay professional football. Really? It was 1888 or something like that, 1885 yeah. or something around that time. Their wage bill for the year, 615 pounds. <laughs> the year. Some of their youth academy prospects are on that more in yeah, the definitely. week. Yeah. So Now, our transfers for the summer, we didn't get given hardly any money. Anything that we did have, I kind of used in the wage budget to offer new contracts to players that were also going out of contract but wanted to stay because I yeah. thought I'd rather just keep them at the club oh, yeah. and not lose everybody. So I've loaned out Wilfred Nonto from Leeds. Very pacey striker who can also play across the front three, so I think he's going to be quite good for us squad-wise. Uh, and that pace, physicality in the championship is going to be good for us. Uh, it just adds something different, doesn't it? Yeah. Even if he's like an impact sub coming off the bench with that pace, there's a lot of really good defenders in the championship who don't have the pace of what the good defenders in the Premier League have. No. So having somebody like Nonto you can come off the bench might be quite good for us. A lot of the time, I you find it's the Premier League players coming to the end of their career dropping down. Yeah. Or the new guys coming up. Yeah. Which ain't quite the finished product yet. Exactly that. Yeah. Uh, very difficult league, of course. We've always said that. Yeah. The hardest league, I think, to get promoted from. Oh, 100%. So tactically then, what are we running for this season? We are looking at this. It's a 4-3-3. We have conventional 4-3-3 with maybe some unconventional roles in the fact that the front three uh, are on support roles. I've done a bit of testing with it, to be honest, and I quite like it. The only attack-minded role is the Mazala on attack, 
which we have in the midfield here. And we've got John Buckley, who is a young midfielder. He's very good for that, 22 years of age. Hopefully we can keep him for a long time because he's really good. He's going to be the only real guy who has an attack-minded uh, roll the rest of them is more of a support so they will be trying to track back positive there's a lot of stuff going on in the instructions i won't bore you with it too much but that's what we're running with so far let's take a look at how it's been getting on it's draw central but we saying. are still unbeaten yeah that's a good thing yeah so we're hard to beat confidence we just is still there though. yeah 3-1 was the first game against swansea though that's a good start to the season with brereton diaz getting one scott water and john buckley who we mentioned there we then beat Barrel 5-2 in the cup. And at this point, I'm thinking we could be on to something yeah. here. But then we then have destroyed. four straight draws, five, sorry, straight draws in the championship and one win in the Carabao Cup second. Match. And they're still good win against them. They're not, they're not an easy team, are they? No, even though they're in the lower league, they yeah. are still good. Uh, Sam Gallagher is our main striker. He's the one who's been scoring the most goals for us so far this season. Um, he is going to be playing that pressing forward and he has quite a stature on him, 6'4", and he's good at jumping in the air and things like that. So maybe we can get a few goals from set pieces using him, but we're simply not scoring enough. That could be down to those attack-minded yeah. roles. But at the same time, when you have them as attack instead of support, that could be the difference in losing one of those games, yeah. a 2-1, because your player isn't tracking back because he's so attack-minded. So it's something I had to weigh up this pre this uh, this sort of early season, uh, and I've decided to stick with it and see how it goes. Hopefully the team can just pick it up and see how we go from that. Okay, so we don't actually have any European football or anything like that to worry about, so we can simulate this first season and see how it goes. All right, then, we finished in sixth place, which is playoffs. However, we did not reach the final of the playoffs. QPR were promoted after extra time. They beat Burnley in the final, uh, which means we were eliminated in the semi-final by QPR. And the looks of it, uh, we got trounced in one of the legs, 4-1. Yeah. Unfortunate there, there, really. Bad start. Do you, really? You think that's a bad start? Yeah. I think that's quite harsh, considering Blackburn don't have the best players in the league. You've got some big player. You got some good players and good teams in that league. Don't forget. Uh, I don't think we are one of them. So if you take a look at the championship, obviously Burnley just coming down. Norwich just come down. Middlesbrough, very good team. They've gone back up. Watford Norwich, just come down. Norwich just a, such a yo-yo side, isn't it? Oh, God, Unbelievable, yeah. isn't it? Every season, isn't it? Yeah. They're, they're kind of taken over from West Brom. who used to do that yeah. every season as well. There are a lot of really tough teams in this league so i think we did oh no sunderland is in this league, sunderland I forgot league that. yeah um swansea got relegated it's a big shot. team going down yeah uh so yeah i think you're being quite harsh on the on the lads there because a sixth place finish getting uh getting the playoffs i suppose it is when you think we got 79 points and third place went up with 82 yeah one game one winning game in it one winning game and we're all yeah that's true yeah yeah we're, we're, we're in that third position there obviously they they went up through the playoffs anyway but so we lost our last game yeah it looks like we lost to uh preston there in our final game. Preston, now that's that's brought something up that I wanted to say. This, Has it you, triggered something? Yes. No. I found something out about this and it's to do with Preston as well. I couldn't believe it when I seen it. When one of these teams, Preston included, when one of these teams get relegated, yeah. they do a thing called burial the coffin. And the clubs, they they well the supporters, they decorate a coffin in the colours. And it used to go to the town hall, but they're not allowing it to do it now. But now they march it to a pub and they put the coffin in the cellar and it stays there until what? the team gets promoted. And when the team gets promoted, they bring it back out of the cellar. So it's like they're burying the coffin because you've been relegated. That's yeah. the team that got relegated. Yeah. They put in the colours. And they, but they actually put a dummy in it now. We're in the kit. Oh my god! So each so you, time, each you, time, they're time they're basically saying you're dead to us. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? I've read it and I thought I've never heard of. This. I've never heard of that. And Blackburn got relegated. Oh, not, not so long ago. Yeah, when we they went just down to League One. Yeah. And I never knew nothing about that. I'm, no, I didn't. You'd have thought it was something that been on the news about it. Obviously, it's a local yeah, news. Yeah. But yeah, they they take a coffin Do down through the streets that's... and they take it to this. They go from one pub to another pub and then put it in the cellar right, and it don't yeah. come out until they get promoted again. Is that a northern thing? Because maybe, you know, that's Preston and Blackburn who are yeah. quite northern in the country. Maybe that's why we haven't heard of that before. It must was. Well, I can only find it. It's only to do with them two teams. Yeah. Because it came up as a headline as um, Burial the Coffin and I went on to it and it only mentioned them two teams. But what a wow, fact. Wow, eh? Let us know down in the comments if you have and any more information Let about us know that. wherever you've been on the on the march where you took the coffin to the pub. Yeah, yeah. And put it in, in the cellar. They stuck the manager in there. You didn't tell <laughs> <Yeah>. anybody. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, okay. Right, we got second season on uh, coming up then. How much money we got? Eight million. Eight million? That's not bad, is it? No, no. We get less than that when we're in like the Premier <laughs> League sometimes. <laughs> Maybe not the Premier League. There's a lot of money in the Premier League. But we are losing Ben Brereton Diaz. He's going to Porto. And we're also using, losing Daniel Ayala, who again didn't want to sign a contract uh, and is going to Cadiz. All right, second season. Okay, the first player we brought in was Jamal Asels. Uh, obviously, Newcastle centre back. He was on the transfer list. He's not the best centre-back in the world, but definitely for this league, like we mentioned, when players come to the end of their, yeah. their careers, I mean, he's not in his 30s yet, but he's kind of being pushed out of the he club. Hasn't, he hasn't done bad for Newcastle, I don't I actually, think. Yeah, I think they've done, done him dirt in the attribute-wise yeah. as well, to be fair. I mean, we, we've we've spoke about Newcastle money. in the past, haven't we? Uh, they're, they've gone up the next next stage now, and, yeah. I, and I think probably that is Players just like too that much are going to be put to the, to yeah, the yeah. wayside, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we only pay 1.3 million. They don't I need the money, do I they? I think that's a hell of a pet price for a player of his yeah. number. Yeah, I agree. Uh, he only played five games last season. Yeah. So, and you can see here for Newcastle, there's, there's he was a regular. Season, yeah, where he was playing all the time. Yeah. And he had a very good season in the Championship when they got promoted. They were a good um, team in that Championship side as well. They were they? indeed. Now, one thing I did spend more money, uh, three million pound on Aurel Mangala. Again, it was a, uh, not on Forrest who spent 10 million pound on him, only used him 13 times. No starts in the Premier League last season. Transfer list, three million pounds to take advantage of those situations. Yeah. So one thing that's always really difficult and it's been made even harder in the last couple of games is the work permit in the UK. It's even harder in the championship because the caliber of players that you're going for are less likely to get a work permit because they're not qualifying yeah. how they would for the players that you go for in the Premier League. They like them to be international players, don't they? Yeah. So that's how they like gain points to to gain uh, the, the 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 work permit. So we've had to really just kind of go for British players or players that are already in England, which is what we've done, and they're already really expensive. Yeah. Or you can only get them on loan. So we've gone through the loan market now. Dane Scarlett from Tottenham, he's going to be kind of our backup striker, but he's got great attributes if we needed to start him he'd just just talking about top them there as well one of the trophies that the um blackburn have won is the the old league cup yeah i can't remember what year it was and i'm going to give credit where it was due they beat spurs wow and i couldn't remember that no obviously I, because we'd lost i just put it yeah. out of my mind but you, you're used to that thing yeah, yeah. really aren't you a, <laughs> i'll get to that age now, right? yeah <laughs> the other three signings that we made so the first one is jamie bino gittens on loan so that's a Borussia dortmund he's english i think he come through the reading yeah there we go reading then man city then bruce dortmund you always pick up these players and he does look quite good he's yeah. played a couple of games in real life i believe uh alejandro garnacho from manchester united it's not a bad sign burst onto the scene yeah. this year didn't he against yeah. fulham I'm, I'm excited the only downside of uh, the World Cup well there was a lot of downsides obviously but one of the big downsides for me is we just got this boy playing Yeah. Uh, and then we go to the World Cup and now he's not doing anything for six weeks it's like <laughs> ah. I mean I do think FM have done him dirty I don't think he looks that good I've even seen what he's like at his maximum potential and he doesn't look that good I'm like oh that's a shame I because he does a, have a, that it's a surprise for everybody I think how quick all of a sudden he's just come on isn't it? yeah but there's been talks about him being good for mm. a long time like I've heard about him like not this summer just gone the summer before that this could be a breakout star this season and Oli never used him and then obviously Rangnick never used him because we couldn't afford to use him because no. we were just struggling so much so now he's been given his chance and he's definitely taken it he looks, he looks a quality player Ahmad Diallo is another one who's out on loan uh, in real life at the minute to Sunderland in the championship and he's doing quite well uh, you can see he played 42 games in the championship last year got eight assists and four goals he's played three for us so far so those are the three loan signings that we have made I don't mind those loan signings or four loan signings so I don't mind those loan signings coupled with Mangala uh, and Jamal Sales. I think we're bringing in um, quality and experience in one goal there. yeah uh, so tactically then let's see so are we sticking with what we had previously yes although I want to secure our back line our back five I want that to be fair enough, a staple yeah. in the championship that yeah. you know we don't have like although we play 46 games so it's more than what uh, you usually would in like the Premier League or you know one of the top leagues in Europe I still think if you have a defence you can play with each other as much as possible and they get that relationship together yeah. this could be a good thing for us in the championship and we've got a really good back line to be fair and Kaminsky and goal is actually quite good as well one of the better goalkeepers in the championship so the rest of it I'm open to interpretation from from the uh, assistant manager looking for for his assistance in that schedule wise let's see so we started off championship 
against Wigan away from home, which is a you know good, good hard good result. Yeah, yeah, good result there. Two 0 win there. Uh, Forest Green in the cup four 0 as you would expect. Southampton coming down from the Premier League, a one or draw. That's a good result because they're still going to have Premier League players in the team, isn't they? Yeah, Che Adams, Adams is still Adams there. Is still there, yeah. So definitely a tricky tie. Red and always difficult. Uh, although they went down to ten men with twenty minutes to go, and we couldn't capitalise on that. Still nil nil. And then we beat Wolves, who I think are still in the Premier League. Yes, they are. We beat them in the Carabao Cup. One good result for us then. Good result. Then we got Man United. Man United so, yeah. never. so we'll be out of that one. Uh, hopefully, you know, next soon we can get like spares or so, just an easy tie in the next round, <laughs> and that'll be ideal. So, okay, expectations for this season? We want to beat what we've already done, so yeah, playoffs and better. Yeah, right. Let's simulate the second season. See how we do. Second season, and we're promoted through the playoffs. Get in. 2-1 victory Sheffield United Wembley. as well that's yeah, an odd game Sheffield United yeah especially because we came through as sixth position so we had a tricky one we yeah. faced Southampton and we beat them 3-2 across both legs oh, I tell you what that's a big club playoff isn't it it is yeah that's four massive clubs. In, it's all teams uh, in the you wouldn't UK. be surprised to see in the Premier League. Exactly. And then, oh, yeah, so we finished. Oh, very close at the end. West Ham and Aston Villa. Yeah. West Ham and Aston Villa come down. Jesus. So I've got a little trivia question for you here. Okay. 12 teams formed the Football League. Yeah. Yeah. Blackburn was one of them. Blackburn was one of them. Another two teams were part of the Premier League. When they when that, started. When that was formed. Yeah, so that's three teams were in the founding of the Football League yeah. and the Premier League. Okay. Do you know the other two teams? Would it be Everton and Villa? How the hell did you get that? Because they're the t one of the two <laughs> oldest clubs in the Premier League. Take my off to you, bro. Yeah. I didn't think, I thought I had you on that one. Yeah. I thought I'm going to give you the Aston Villa one because obviously I've done it because I've seen Aston Villa. Yeah. But I didn't think you'd get Everton one. I just know there are no clubs. Yeah. So because we have spoken about them a few times, yeah, we? yeah, yeah. But yeah, the three teams has done formed the both leagues. Oh wow! Just... If you had said to me like how many clubs, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have known. But no. because you said there was only two, those are the two that I would say would be the most likely yeah. because of how old they are. Because I always think like I always see like graphics of the oldest clubs, mm. and it's like always Preston, yeah. Blackburn, that's obviously, right, yeah. and you just see them. I think Burnley's yeah. another one, maybe. Oh, that's quite a good question though for a pub quiz. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, if you're a pub quiz master, there's a question I don't think, for you. I don't think you'd put Blackburn in it, even though you'd think they're an you'd old team. You forget that they were in it. You, you forget the they were in the Premier League when it got when it when it yeah ninety two yeah. yeah. But I think you'd also you I think Aston Villa would be an odd one as well. That might be the one that just. But then I remember well. when Aston Villa went down. I remember it being the first time they got relegated in hell of a long time. Yeah, true. Yeah. And same with Everton. I know yeah, they yeah. haven't been relegated for so long. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a fantastic season. We got Sam Gallagher there with the most goals in the Championship, which always helps. Really good performance from him got the most prior of the matches as well cup competitions we didn't check that last summer uh, last season but i don't think we would we wouldn't have won it so third round by brighton third round by manchester united as you'd expect the fa cup yes fourth time we won it we beat sheffield wednesday 6-1 yeah and a gentleman called william townsley scored a hat trick okay first person to score a hat -trick, hat trick in the cup in the final. final really yeah wow for us for us, yeah. yeah. Cool. For what I just checked. Yeah, for Blackburn, yeah. yeah. They lost 4-3. <laughs> uh... <laughs> no, they won 6-1 against Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, nice. 6-1, bloody hell. Uh, okay, 30 goals from Sam Gallagher. Ahmed Diallo got himself 11. And Jamie Bynum getting so the the, the, the the long knees came in clutch for us there. Uh, Garnacho played more of a bench player, but he still played quite a lot and still did quite well. We are missing a long player there. Tottenham was unhappy with Dane Scarlett Ooh. not playing, so they, they called him back. back. Yeah. Oh, the tail between their legs. How much money have we got going into the Premier League? 14 million. It's not a lot, is it? It's half a player, isn't it? <laughs> It is really, isn't it? I suppose for the championship, it is yeah. two players, isn't it? Yeah, but when you look at Forest spending 130 and they might still go down. Yeah. Okay, I'll try my best. Let's have a look, third season. First transfer, and it's not quite complete yet, but hey. Gary Neville coming in as a coach might be happening. I'm 49. <laughs> I've got 49 as a player. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the coach? Gary, bring your boots just yeah. in case. Yeah. Uh, we might need you at right back. Um, but yeah, we're trying to get him as a coach. You never know. He might might play a big effect. Okay, let's take a I look. Just, then. I'd just like to ask your viewers here, right? Okay. Gary Neville Contrast finishes person. with Man United. Yeah. How many people hated him when he was at Man United? Yeah, yeah. How many people like him as a pundit? Yeah, yeah. 
Definitely. Although his views what? on the Qatar recently have been... Oh, been yeah, I agree with that. But up until then, the work he's done on Sky TV, I think, as a pundit, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. And and I spoke to you about it today in the first couple of seasons, how um, unbiased he was. And if he felt Man United had played crap, he yeah. said they played crap. Yeah, and he, he's, he's had a few comments about Man United recently, hasn't he? Yeah. And with um, Christian Ronaldo, what's been going on. But and he calls out the owners. I yeah, like that. Yeah, definitely. A very, very, I think, sensible man. Very yeah, switched yeah. on man. And what he's got to say, I think some, some people, sometimes you've got to stand back and listen to him. Yeah. And think, this guy knows what he's talking about. I like the overlap. Yeah. His oh, podcast that he does. Brilliant. You've yeah. got me onto that, haven't you? And I've yeah, been going yeah. through them all recently. Some and, really good ones on there but, that he's um, done. Yeah, but I, I've got to admit, I hated him when he was a footballer. I didn't even like him as a footballer. <laughs> <laughs> and he played for my club yeah. and did really well for us. He's a bit of a club legend, but I don't really like him that much. If you watch the one with Alan Shearer, Alan Shearer will tell you he hated him as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's still many, <laughs> yeah, of, them, best mates still many of them he did like. Yeah. I don't think Scozy used to take the piss out of him. Yeah, he did, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. let's take a look then at some of the signings that we have made because it's a big, big summer for us. We start off with a Brentford player, Josh De Silva, coming in, centre midfield, can play in low center positions, which is the reason why I picked him up, and he was good quite cheap. Player, yeah. A lot of 13s and 12s. That's which, good. Yeah. I think we'd take that in our league. Absolutely. And he's only 25 too, so he still holds his value, and you can see his value's gone up. Not asking for big wages, a lot of positives about Josh De Silva. Dale Fry. Now, this is a good player, I think, is a good example of picking the best out of the championship. Yeah. Because Dale Fry was from Middlesbrough, 6'4", Really talented. The the attributes are fantastic. Uh, some of his mentals aren't the best, but that's the difference between the championship and his the, marking, the his tackling, and his heading. That's what you want to be good in. That exactly. They all the are, and they are. That. And yeah. Physically, he's okay for the Premier League. So nine million pound, and he's been playing in the Premier League last season. And I think he came down because he went up and came yeah. back down. So uh, he played 38 games last season. So that tells me he's not injury prone either, which, no, is, right, yeah. which is good. So I'm happy to spend £9 million on him. Now, we did sign Tyrone Mings as another centre-back. left side centre-back. Good experience, yeah. Exactly. England international. Yeah. Uh, that's also controversial. We've yeah. said a lot of controversial things today. Yeah. Uh, but he is quite good on the game, to be fair. And he is 31, so he's come towards the end of his career. But he's good enough for me, I think, to bring him in. Now, he did spend a little bit more money on Todd Camp. Well, 5.5 million pound, another example of a player uh, who is amazing in the championship, not quite as good in the Premier League. I don't know but he's been I've, done I've by I thought he, he was by far their best player in the, in the Premier League. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, I definitely. I was agree surprised there weren't many teams that came in to try and buy him. Yeah, and he stayed with, with Norwich when they went down. Yeah, good on him for staying. But, yeah, um, I was surprised he did stay. Whether that was his choice yeah. or not, <laughs> nobody, nobody's in for you, Todd. Uh -huh. I'll say that. So yeah, we brought him in, 5.5 million pound, good squad player. Then the free transfers came in. I like this one. Paul Onoachu. He is six foot seven with 20 jumping reach. <laughs> he do not have to jump, does he? Being six foot seven. No. I couldn't beat him in the air. <laughs> I can't wait till Lissandra Martinez marks him for Man United. Yeah. Um, and then watch Jamie Carragher talk about that. Yeah. And Gary Neville trying to stick up for him. So we've got a, quite, a, quite a powerful player there. But he is a better pressing forward than Sam Gallagher. He's got that aggression which you need in the yeah. pressing forward. He might not have the pace, but well, he has, he has pace. He's just takes him ages to get there. It's not yeah. to 60 is terrible, <laughs> but he can do 60. That's that's the thing that we need to worry about. Good finishing, good head and ability. Um, and I like him, to be fair. Bit of a legend in my eyes. Poor one actually, just because of how big he is. Played for Genk for a long time. We got him on a free transfer after he scored 19 goals last season. 21 the season before that. Yeah, it's good. It is. I mean, 21 and 33. Yeah. Good, good score, good score record, isn't it? It's 20 a lot. Yeah. 33 and 30. 30. Yeah, the guy knows where the net is, just yeah. not in the Premier League because he got nothing at the minute. <laughs> uh, okay. We have also signed a backup striker in Kasper Dahlberg, who can also play across the front three. Again, as a newly promoted team, it's, I said it last season when we, when we did clubs which went into the Premier League. Every time you think, oh, he'll be a good sign-in, you agree personal terms. Somebody else comes in and makes an offer and yeah. steals you from him. And you and you literally are like, why did it take you until I made an offer before you decided to make yeah. an offer? It's so frustrating, but that happened a lot. Uh, so the players that we've ended up with are the ones that nobody else wanted, really. <laughs> Sounds bad. He's still a good squad player. He is I think. still a good squad yeah. player. Then the rest of it is like loan signings. So, oh, uh, yeah, it is loan signings. Sorry. So we've got Calvin Ramsey from Liverpool. Good right back who can also play further up our midfield should we need to. Because midfield is actually quite good, to be fair. Yeah. Um, and a good young player. Scottish. Uh, sh the Scotland people are. The Scotland people. The Scottish <laughs> are quite looking forward to seeing what he can do. And Lewis Hall, who's been playing for Chelsea recently. Yeah. At left back when they've had left back problems. Uh, he can play left back. He can play centre mid. He's played Chelsea a couple of games. 
games. I don't know whether they were European games or they what. They look really good. They look really good, but he, oh, Harry didn't score in a couple of them. Yeah. <laughs> you just felt sorry for the boy because he only needed that one then goal he class, and he'd have been good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so bringing him in as a good squad yeah, player. Good, good young player. I, mean. I agree. Yeah. And he played in the championship last se last season, 32 games. So, however, let's take a look tactically then. How are we fitting them all into the club? We are going to a very cautious Union Berlin style uh, tactic with a few changes. We've got Segundo Volante and a ball in the midfielder in here. Uh, if we do quick pick it, we can kind of see our best 11, what it would look like. So we still got Gallagher in the side with Onowatu because it would be harsh to sign Onowatu and not play Gallagher considering he was the top scorer of the championship last yeah. season. Oh yeah, definitely. He yeah. deserves a chance. Yeah. We've got Todd Cantwell in there. Our two midfielders are still midfielders from the championship that we can see there. Uh, so even though we did sign like Josh Lascelles, they're obviously all going to be needed. They're not going straight into the team. And to be fair, the back line is very similar to what it was last season with just the two centre-backs being changed. So do we have the best team in the league? God, no. no. Do we have the worst team in the league? I Probably. I would have thought so. I would have thought so. <laughs> no? No. Well, results say otherwise. Who came up with us? I can't remember. Was it Norwich? Oh, Aston, Aston Villa. Aston Villa and West Ham. Yeah, so, yeah, we probably have quite yeah. seen it. <laughs> By results, that also looks similar too. Leeds beat us on the opening day of yeah. the, the season 3-1. It was an odd game, in it? Leicester was a 3-0. Arsenal was a 3-0. And we only won the Bristol Rovers game on penalties. Yeah. <laughs> Tyrone Mings was sent off because of that as well. So it's going to be a hell of a tricky summer to, to season to survive. So you look, you're looking at getting points against Norwich, against Forest, Man City, Brentford, Tottenham. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be Norwich season. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, survival I think, is. I think survival is our, is our hope, but really, fingers yeah. crossed, isn't it? Not European as the, football. As the coffin's out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, then. Let's simulate this third season and see how we get on in the Premier League. And the end of the third season. What's happened here? We are unemployed. Eh? They sacked you? <laughs> We've been sacked. <laughs> have they? Yeah. They're not putting a dummy in the coffin, are they? Oh, You're in the coffin. <laughs> I'm in the coffin. 20th position, we were sacked from Birmingham. At Blackburn, sorry. Hey, come on. In it's the our first League, season. They were relegated with just 20 points. You deserve to be sacked. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Daniele De Rossi is now their manager, which is an interesting appointment, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Um, got the same beard as me. We're copying each other. Awful kits, by the way. If that's actually the Blackburn kits, then that is absolutely a terrible. I looked up the kits. They go try always trying to get a story on the kit. I couldn't get one. They, no. They've had the blue and white for, since you got. Yeah, I think yeah. it is. Yeah. Okay. When were we sacked then? So if we hide the caretaker there, we were sacked date left in March we were sacked in March okay well, we nearly got to the end of the season <laughs> yeah so we lasted two years um let's see <laughs> let's see what was happening in March I mean we know we were bottom but result wise well, it didn't look good did it no did Is we it? win any oh I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll get rid of we all didn't. the cups and we'll just look at where did we get our Premier 20? League Oh, we beat West Ham. We beat Bournemouth. We, we didn't get a win until December. <laughs> we, had we had a couple back of draws. Wins and we're like, it's happening. Yeah, look, it's happening. We drew against we drew, Man City. We drew against Man City. We drew against Chelsea. Chelsea. Then we drew against Wolves. We, we started getting them. We won yeah. against West Ham. Everton and Forest. Couple of back to backs yeah. there again. Oh, what a February we had, look. <laughs> we had an unbeaten February. There's no shock there. We, I mean, we, we should you have been You must have got Spurs. manager of the month for that month. Yeah. <laughs> we lost to Leicester. No, we beat Leicester, sorry, 2-1. Beat Drew, Drew with Leeds, Drew with Spurs. And then March was where we got sacked, where we lost to Villa, Bournemouth and West Ham. That's the trouble. The That's Bourm the, the Bournemouth and West yeah. Ham def definitely done us. They yeah, wanted a few yeah. wins in there, didn't they? Yeah, because so you win two or three of them, yeah, and you're yeah. like, oh, all right. Especially um, when you've got Chelsea, Newcastle, Liverpool coming yeah. up as well, isn't it? I mean, I'm not being funny, but De Rossi hasn't got a win yet. No. He's come in, he's got nothing here, look. No. Terrible. Should have sacked him at the end of the season yeah. as well, shouldn't he? Because he joined in the 17th for the 4th, so here. So his first game was Newcastle. So he's got one point it was so against Norwich. On. Keep going down. The That's first, it. The first goal they scored was the last game of the season. was the first time they scored a goal. Yeah. <laughs> he is awful manager. <laughs> Oh, he did better than that. <laughs> yeah, at least we were scoring goals. Exactly, yeah. I'd rather go out 3-1 than lose 1-0. Yeah. Right. Oh, dear. Now, this isn't going to be the end of the rebuild because, I mean, one, I've been buried, apparently. <laughs> when you said that story, I was you're like, in a, you're, in a, you're in a cellar at the moment. Yeah, yeah. In a, in a Blackburn kit. <laughs> yeah. We are going to simulate the final two years and see how Daniele De Rossi does. Now, there won't be a Patreon save file because there's nothing to give you. <laughs> but... 
let's see how he does in the next two years. All right. If he lasts two years, because if it's anything like this, I dare say he'll be gone within a couple. That's one months. thing we definitely know: he needs a goal scorer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's find out. He doesn't know how to use Big Paul, is he? No. I did, just not well enough to <laughs> win enough games. God. <laughs> well, look at that. On the front of the page, Blackburn have been promoted to the Premier League. Didn't do bad then, did he? He did, did he? <laughs> championship. Oh, it's De Rossi as well. He stayed there. So they went down into the championship and they went through the playoffs. Fifth in the championship. And they... Sorry, I clicked off of that then. Uh, who'd they beat in the final? They beat Bournemouth in the final 2-1. Fair play. All right. He's so done, he's done all right. Uh, he beat Sheffield United in the semi-final and went back up. So who's gone straight up? Brighton. Brighton went down. And Middlesbrough. And then, uh, yeah, we've gone up in fifth place. 82 points. It's quite a high tally as well, to be fair. Yeah. I don't see a goal scorer, though. John Buckley's still there. He got the most assists that season. Okay, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. For now, he's done all right. But can he survive in the Premier League? Well, at least the coffin only can. lasted. So you're out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They've let you out after a season. Well, I, I think I, I relegated them and then he got him promoted. I think yeah. I'd be still in there, to be <laughs> yeah. honest. Uh, they spent yeah, you're 10 in the, million You're in the other pub now. Yeah, that's true. Actually, no, they spent more than that because Sasha Kaladzic, they spent £9 million there and brought him in at the end of the summer uh sorry at the end of the season start of the summer then they spent another 10 million pounds so they spent about 20 million pound coming down they've got quite a few players coming in now free transfers pie exchanges nobody really to know i mean there's a good loan sign in there marquinhos might do quite well in that league the young brazilian other than that though i don't see anybody who i'm looking at going or oh, that's gonna be a game changer maybe and joining is quite good yeah so they need to do quite a lot in the premier league so we'll see if he can survive the premier league he's selling players like dale fry and he's still getting promoted that's ridiculous all right let's see fifth season i don't believe it i don't believe it he survived 16th i couldn't find him then 16th, 16th. when you said i don't believe survived. it i looked at the top spot the sex yeah out. imagine that <laughs> he's won the league yeah. Well, he survived. He survived 36 points. Was it him? It yeah. might not be him. He might have been sacked halfway through the season. No, no it is still him. Daniele De Rossi is still there. He's quite good, to be fair. Motivator. I mean, you just have to look at me and I'd be motivated. Yeah, definitely. He? Yeah, he, looks, yeah. he looks like a Spartan, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, yeah. Um, so, yeah, fair play. Quality player. Even better manager, because he's better than me somehow. Nico Ravella. See, this is not fair. He's bringing in all the Italians. He had a link there. <laughs> Um, and how, how is De Ravella getting work permits and the players I was going for not? Uh, okay, who did they bring in? How much money did they spend? 50 million! You're giving him 50 Jaws. million! That's Jaws why. the same, wasn't it? Yeah, they gave him 50 million pounds. They spent 16 million pounds on Tezgill, who's a good Wonder Kid striker, 21 years of age. Uh, they signed him when he was 20, so yeah, that's big money. Did he score a lot of goals? He only got nine. He only got nine in the Premier League, and they've managed to survive. Liam Thompson, I don't recognise that. That's another youngster, 25 years old, so around about 21 at the start of the game. Midfielder, he's okay. He doesn't, doesn't stand out as a Premier League player, no. though. Uh, uh, Dragowski is like one of my favourite goalkeepers, so that's quite a good signing. Although I think our previous goalkeeper was better, personally. But there we go, Nicola Ravella is the main signing there. There's your heart of your midfield. He's good at tapping, he's good at passing, great mental, he's good physical. He's only 25, he's going to be their best player, £16 yeah. million. Pound. He only played 15 games, which tells me he signed in January. He did, 27. So it was a January transfer, and it's done quite well for him, really, isn't it? And then Paolo Artavio from West Ham was the last signing, a left-back that they signed on deadline day in January. I don't know how he's done that with that team. I think my team was better. Because uh, he, he sold Sam Gallagher. That was our best player, wasn't it? Yeah. What do you think? Do you think I'm just terrible at ma manager? <laughs> I would say that I genuinely think this year's game is harder to simulate than what it was last year. I think to be successful, it's easier to play game by game. Obviously, I can't do that with a rebuild because there's no way I'm going to play five seasons in a, no. in a week. I barely have enough time to do it. So the fact that we have to simulate is going to make it harder. It, it also goes to show as well you need the money. If you're not getting a transfer fee, yeah. you're not buying the calibre of player that you need to stay in that particular league or or get promoted out of that league. I agree. And and that's a proven example there, isn't it? They gave him 58 million. Yeah. He stayed in the league. They yeah. gave us 20 million. Yeah. 
we got sacked. We got sacked. And I'm, I'm afraid that's the way football's going now, isn't it? it with, is. with the with the big big companies or big people coming in with the money for, to buy these teams and that. You need the money, or it's, yeah. or it's uh, you end up in a coffin way, like I did. Yeah. <laughs> well, there we go. Right. So the last thing really we need to ask is Blackburn Rovers fans or anybody who's been to Ewood Park. What's the what's, food like? What's the food like at the Ewood stadium? Ewood Park, oh Ewood Park. Yeah. I just noticed it said 1882. It's built. We've been playing there since 1890. We were we were founded in 1875. So yeah. it's one of the very old old stadiums. But still a good stadium though. Still a good stadium. Yeah. yeah. They they keep they keep renovating it as much as they can. It's still one of the. Have they renovated the, ch- the kitchen zoo? So what is that's the food it? Like? What is the food like? Yeah. Let us know down in the comments section and keep your suggestions coming in for any future rebuilds. Everyone that gets mentioned, I always put it in a list. And if it gets mentioned more than once, I'm going to start doing polls soon. So every ideas that you have, try and keep it so it's not, you know, we're not rebuilding, I don't know, some conference league yeah. team. Oh, and that goes to show there. We're, 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 we've, we've done a team that everybody wanted us to do in the championship. Because of the way the game is, we've struggled because we've not got the money. Yeah. And this is what could happen. We can get sacked. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not I'm not asking to give us a Man City every week, but <laughs> <laughs> give us somebody's got to have a chance. Yeah, yeah. Make it make it so it's gonna be a like a watchable team. Like yeah. if they've got a good history or they're still a big club. So let us know down in the comment section your opinions. Like I mentioned, there's gonna be no Patreon save file, but hey, I'm sorry, there's still plenty of other ones. Should you wish to support on Patreon? from last week and previous weeks and any future ones as well. Thank you very much. We'll see you next Monday for hopefully a more of a successful one. Yeah. (laughs) See you soon. Bye-bye.